Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to quickly recover deleted files in Windows. Before we get started with this video, we wanted to let you guys know that we're actually running a giveaway for Microsoft software through the end of the month. At the end of the giveaway, one lucky subscriber will receive any Microsoft software of their choice from Indigo Software completely free. Indigo Software is an authorized reseller of Microsoft Software, which means this will be a 100% authentic copy of whichever software you choose. To enter the giveaway, just follow the steps in this video. If you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so the very first thing that we can check here, which may actually be obvious, but it is a good thing to check, is the recycle bin. Your recycle bin will usually be on your desktop. Mine is right here. Let's double click to open this. Let's say this is the deleted file that I wanted to access or recover. I can right click on this and hit restore to bring it back to its original location, which was the desktop. And now we can see it here. The next thing we can use is a built in feature called Windows File Recovery. I'll hit the start key and I'm going to type in Windows File Recovery. And in a lot of cases, it won't be installed by default. Luckily, it quickly finds the install button for us. So let's click that. All right, now from here, let's click install. This brings us to the store and we'll hit get. All right, and now let's try opening this tool. We'll click yes on the pop-up. Now we have to use this tool inside of the command prompt and it's not too difficult to actually give this a try. So we're gonna type the command listed above, which is winfr space the next character will be the drive that we're trying to recover data from. In a lot of cases, this will be the C drive or the main local disk, but this could be a different drive, so make sure that you specify the correct one. We'll enter another space followed by another drive letter. The important thing here is that this has to be a different drive than the one that we're recovering from. So instead of the C drive, I'm gonna put my D drive. My D drive is my editing drive, but you could just as easily use a partition or for example, an external hard drive. The next thing I wanna do is actually filter. I only want files that are a .xlsx, so I accidentally deleted some Excel files. To specify that, we're gonna do another space and then a forward slash and then the letter N. To specify the file type, we'll use an asterisk symbol and I'll do xlsx. Okay, let's press enter. Here prompted for continue, yes or no, and I'll hit Y for continuing. While this is going, let's take a look at one more thing that we can try, and we'll come back to this. Let's do Windows key and E together, and I'm gonna navigate to the folder that contains the files that I accidentally deleted. This is the folder that I wanna take a look at right here. I'm gonna right click on this folder, and there's a button we're gonna see here called Previous Versions, Restore Previous Versions. Let's click that. If you have any previous versions available to restore to, they will show up here, and you can actually restore to those versions. As we can see, we found no recoverable files in this mode, but this is often worth a check as it can work in a lot of cases. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, for a chance to win any Microsoft software of your choice with an official Microsoft license, click this video and follow the steps for a chance to win. As always, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any videos of your own that you'd like to see us cover, we encourage you to drop those in the comments below. Most of these requests get made into actual videos videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.